All right. So, good morning. You should be um, watching this video on the 27th of May, Monday morning. So I hope you all had an excellent weekend. Um, if we're going to try something a bit different. I was supposed to be here today, but uh, unfortunately I couldn't be. We're going to do an informal task um, while I'm not here. Now, I don't want any excuses that it was too hard, that um, I you didn't understand because we're going to go through this um, together. You can go for you can fast forward, you can go backwards, you can speed me up if I'm speaking too slow. You can just slow me down. That's the power of YouTube. All right. So there are no excuses. Um, I, I don't want to hear anything that this is this is too challenging. We're going to do it really slowly, and we're going to break break it down. And when I get back on Wednesday, I'm going to check to see if you've done it. If you've done it. Um, Full marks. If you haven't, then you don't get full marks. Um, so yeah. So with IST, I'm trying to teach you guys all these new skills, and it does require you to put effort and energy into them. If you do, if you try to put as little effort as possible, that's what uh, how much you will learn. Okay. Um, I'm I'm here to help you guys learn, but um, because you know it's 24 kids, it's it's a large class or 24 students. I'm not able to answer every single question, and you need to apply yourself. I saw some really cool games last last uh, semester. Uh, Luke made a really, really good game, and I didn't help him with everything. I did help him with the basics, um, and he did ask for some guidance, but for the most part, that was all his idea, and it was really awesome to see. So you need to really show initiative, because that's what really matters in IST. All right, so let's get back into it. HTML is what we're doing today, and you can see here, um, I think this is right. Yeah. Okay. So we are creating a shopping list. Oh, that's the wrong one. I called it website two. I'm just going to boot it up. My computer is slow. Um, and I have an alien on my laptop. So you can type in things here, celery, and it adds to your shopping list. This is a very simple app, and with the power of Vue.js we can do so much stuff it's an excellent framework so i got a few questions last week what is a framework a framework instead of using raw javascript i said we use html css and javascript now for the most part modern web developers do not use raw javascript because it's not as fast nor as efficient we use something like Vue.js, which is a framework that's built on top of javascript that makes us build and develop really quickly this thing you're seeing right now shopping list is actually fairly complicated but because we use a framework, we are able to speed up development significantly. So I can add carrots, I can add um, pizza. But one other feature on this, because I know fasting begins on Monday or Wednesday for, for, you, for you guys. So if you type in here chicken, it says you cannot eat chicken, you are fasting. All right, so just a little feature I thought we would add in to make it a Coptic app. Okay, so before we begin, you need to, um, you should all have a folder. If you don't, relax. I'm going to show you how to create a folder. You right click here, you go new folder. Then you have a new folder. It is that simple. All right. Then you can call it shopping list or website too. Um, I call mine shopping list. In fact, I'm just going to uh, delete my one from Friday. You don't have to delete yours from Friday. Why is that not letting me delete shopping list? I'm just gonna, it's not letting me delete it. I just can't be bothered. Shopping list two. This is where you need to put all your website stuff in here. If you put it anywhere else, it won't work. Computers are stupid and they will try to find exactly what you have done. Give me one second. All right, we're at four minutes already. Wow. Alright, so the first thing you now need to do is you've created your folder. You now need to add in a Vue.js main frame, uh, view strap, view framework. So you can bring in this or you can bring in your folder. I'm going to do both. No, I won't do that. I'll just bring in the zip file. This is a zip file. You've all got WinRAR installed on your computers and put it in shopping list too. Paste it in here. Right click on it extract to view strap now if you don't have 
WinRAR. I know Matthew's computer didn't have WinRAR. You can use um, the one Microsoft has, and it just says Extract. You click Extract, and it does the same thing. All right, I prefer, and most people prefer WinRAR. So there we go. I've extracted it. Fantastic. All right, so now that we've got everything ready, we're ready to go. I'm just going to uh, stop it here.